Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Those of you that are new to my channel, my name is Maria and today I'm doing a full face of makeup. There is a couple of new releases and some new to me products. So today I've got the new Gucci, it's the Cushion Foundation. I've also got the Wayne Goss Lipstick, which is a new release. And makeup that is new to me that I'm trying today is, this is an eyeshadow palette and it's all mattes. And it's makeup by Mario. I hadn't tried that brand before. Most of these products, actually all of them, I have tried out. So I know that some of them are good before even trying them out in today's video. I also hadn't tried the brand Ilia. So I've got that bronzing powder that's in the shade Novelty. And I've also got for my blush today, it's one of the Cheek Collectives by K.O. Weiss. Now, one of my previous videos, I bought this from Beautylish. She put out three of these, and the one that I bought, and I can't remember the name of it now, but I loved it so much that I bought the other two as well. And this is in the Color Story Sun Torched, and this is a really beautiful color story. So today's makeup isn't gonna be really bold. The eyeshadow palette that I've got is, it's really just neutral shades. The lipstick's a really neutral color and the blush is quite soft as well. So it's just an all over really soft look. So I've already done my skincare. I'm gonna put some primer on in a minute. I'm gonna use the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I find this really good, especially with a foundation that probably isn't specifically geared towards oily skin, which I have. So we'll take a look at this Gucci Cushion Foundation. It is made in Korea and it has 14 grams of product. It also has an SPF of 22. But those of you that have seen my previous videos, I don't rely on any SPFs that are in foundations or any makeup because for me, it's just a bonus. I already put on a lot of sunscreen after or for my final step when I finish my skincare routines in the morning. So here is the outside packaging of this cushion foundation. Now I've also got the liquid foundation and I only bought that about probably about a month ago now and I have tried that once and I really like that foundation and I did buy the Gucci bronzing powder and a couple of other things as Gucci was newly released here in New Zealand. So I'll do a video on those other products on a future date. But I thought I would show you this cushion. So this cushion is basically supposed to give flawless coverage and it is moisturizing. So for my oily skin, I did try this yesterday and I found it to be really, really nice. The shade may be a tad too light, but we'll talk about their shade range or lack of it in a minute. So we'll take this foundation out of the packaging so you can take a look. It's really, really pretty. It's in a really gorgeous soft pink type of shade and you can see the Gucci at the front and a really gorgeous pattern. Now I got this shade in 06 and there's only six shades in this range so far and I had seen a couple of other videos on this and from what I saw on the Selfridge site because this is where I got this from they looked very very light and really shades one to five looked as if they threw pink quite a lot and I'm not quite sure why they've only got six shades Maybe they're testing the market to see before they'll make any more. I did check the Gucci website yesterday because I thought, well, since the time that I've purchased this, they may have released a few more shades. But after looking at their website yesterday, they haven't. As I said, this is shade six. It's supposed to be the darkest shade that there is. And my skin at the moment, so it's spring here in New Zealand, my skin is... I normally buy foundations in the light to medium range. I'm sort of in the middle of that sort of range at the moment. In summer, I'll probably head a little bit 
more towards the medium side although in the summer I try not to get my face in the sun at all. The hairs inside the cushion foundation it does have a good sized mirror and it also has an application sponge. The other cushions that I've bought I've got a La Prairie one I've got a Chantecai cushion I think that's the only other foundation cushions I have I don't use the applicators that come with these. You say when I tried this foundation on, I used the BK Beauty 101 brush and it went on really beautifully. But today I just want to try it with a beauty blender and see how that goes because I normally use a beauty blender with the other two cushion foundations that I have and it just seems to apply the product just that little bit better. So it has a lift lid at the top here to keep the product inside from drying out so I'll open that up and you can take a look at the shade so here is shade number six and this is the darkest one in the range so really very very light and a pretty poor shade selection really now this is made in Korea, this product. So I'm wondering whether it was geared more for the Asian market and they thought they might just sell it outside as well. But after they've sold quite a few, because this is a really nice foundation, so hopefully they will increase the shade range so a lot more people can enjoy this product. So I'm just going to put some primer on. I use one pump of this primer i've also recently i tried a sample of the by terry primer and i'd always been a bit put off by using or trying that one because it has the hyaluronic acid and i always thought it wouldn't suit my oily skin but from the sample i tried i really really like it so i've now ordered the full size of the by terry primer and I'll use that in conjunction with this primer as well. But both are really, really beautiful products. So I'm just going to put some of this product on the beauty sponge. There's quite a lot of pickup. And it seems like it's, when you first go to put it on, it seems like it would be quite full coverage. But I, it'll be interesting to see what it's like with the sponge because I thought yesterday when I put it on, initially I thought, oh, this is a really a strong medium. But once it had all settled in, it was more, more of a light coverage that was with the brush. So it'll be interesting to see what type of coverage the sponge gives. It seems to be, for me, when I use these cushions, these cushion type of foundations they just go on that little bit better with a beauty blender or some type of beauty sponge and since this is a moisturizing type of foundation I will put some under my eyes and on my eyelids often with the foundation especially if it's more of a matte type I won't do that under my eyes I'll only just put on concealer or corrector and concealer without the foundation because I find that it gets a little bit cakey. But when a foundation says that it's moisturizing or maybe more for normal type of skin or normal to dry, I do find I can put some underneath my eyes, but I don't dip it back in the cushion again and put it on. I just use what has been left on the sponge after putting the foundation on my face. So that's all the foundation on and that's just from that one dab that I did at the very beginning. I didn't have to go in again with the Beauty Blender. And like yesterday, now that I've just put it on, I would say this gives... I'm not sure whether it's a medium finish or a light to medium finish probably a medium finish it is covering my redness I can slightly see a bit underneath and I feel like I could put 
on a little bit of concealer but I'm not going to do that today I want you just to be able to see the foundation by itself without any concealer it feels nice it feels moisturizing on the skin it doesn't have any type of heavy feeling that a foundation can have but I do feel like I need to set it with powder because I know with my skin if I left it without powder within a couple of hours and with my natural oils coming through it would definitely go from a glowy look to getting towards that greasy look which can happen with oily skin so I am going to powder it down so now off camera I'm going to put on because none of these are new products so I'm going to do my concealer I will put eyeshadow primer on and do my eyebrows and powder my face as well and then I'll be back and put on the new bronzer that I bought. So I've put the setting powder on my face, I use the Chanel Loose Powder one and it still looks as if though it is a medium tight finish. So as I was saying yesterday when I tried the cushion foundation. I used a brush and I use a brush in a stippling motion but I'd have to say just like with the other couple of cushion foundations that I've got I find that they just go on that little bit better with a beauty sponge well they do for me anyway so now let's put on some bronzer this is a brand that is new to me because I haven't tried anything from the range before so this is the Ilia bronzer it's a night light bronzing powder and I got this in the shade novelty I did try this when I first got it about a couple of weeks ago and I really liked it and I'm going to put on the bronzer today with um, a new brush and I picked up the whole set of these unit brushes they are sold by Beautylish and this is the brush 301. I've got about two or three of them that I've kept for myself but all the others that I got in the set it's part of the giveaway that I'm doing. So that was a couple of videos ago and at the time of putting up this video that giveaway is still going to be open so go and check that out to see what other products that I've got in that giveaway. So here is the bronzer. This is a really beautiful shade. As I said I tried this when I first got it and I really like the formula of this. It's quite a buttery type of formula be interested to see how this brush works because my go-to brushes really for putting on bronzer are the Rafa number 22 and the Tom Ford bronzing brush those are the two brushes that I mainly use but these are super soft these are synthetic brushes they are also vegan and they just feel really really beautiful but we'll see how they go at applying the bronzer this may be, some end up being just a bit slightly too fluffy, but it's picking up the product well on the brush. So I'll pop it on. No, the brush seems to work really well. It is a really soft brush. It would probably feel a bit softer than the Tom Ford brush that I was talking about and the Rafa 22 but there's no issues with putting on this bronzer but then like I was saying when I tried this bronzer for the first time when I, I got it in the mail it has got this really beautiful formula so it is a really lovely bronzer to apply But the brush is putting on the bronzer really really beautifully just as well as the other couple of bronzing brushes that I use really lovely really lovely bronzer and really good brush as well so let's get on to the eyeshadow as I said at the beginning of this video this isn't new but this brand is new to me or the first time I've tried out one of the products makeup by Mario I have tried this eyeshadow palette I just like to keep it in its packaging 
until I've done a video on it. I don't know why really, I just do. I try them out for the first time, think yes, I'll put that in a video, and then just on the table that I have to the left of me here, I stack up all the things I want to use in future videos and keep them in their packaging. So here is the palette, you've probably seen it before, and this is just really beautiful neutral matte eyeshadows. These blend like a dream. So I am going to buy some more eyeshadows by this brand because I think they just blend really, really beautifully. And you can see I've still got the sticker on the mirror there. So I'm actually going to take that off. And then I'll just hold the palette up a little bit closer so you can take a look at it. And I'm not going to swatch the whole lot. This isn't a new release palette. But I'll swatch about three colours. So I'll swatch this colour here and this one and the black. Just on the back of my hand so you can see what they look like. So the, here's those three colours that I pointed to in the palette. Really beautiful pigmentation. <laughs> you can see it all on my fingertips here and really gorgeous colors they go on easily on the back of my hand and i've already as i said i've already used this so i know they blend really beautifully as well so i'm just looking for something so i can <laughs> wipe these eyeshadows off and then we'll get started putting them on so i'm just going to do a, a fairly simple look i will start off with the lightest shade this is the sonji this is the jumbo blender the jumbo blender brush and put this all over each eyelid first you probably won't see this color on my lid but it'll just help set down the eyeshadow primer that i've got and just give a really nice base for all the rest of the colors so i'm going to take the refer number 15 i'll probably use including that light shade, I'll probably be using at least four shades, but I don't want to get too complicated with it. But I'll go into this shade here. I'll put this through my crease and just above, and or maybe up a bit further up the brow bone. And then I just want to put a bit of depth into the crease and slightly above. And this is a unit brush as well. This is the number, this is the 309. And I haven't tried this one yet. And it's going to be interesting because this one is very similar shaped to one of my most used brushes. And this is the Rafa number 14. Rafa number 14 is probably slightly wider although I actually haven't washed this brush yet so it may bloom out a bit just like the Rafa number 14 so I'm interested to see what this brush is is like and I'm going to go into I think I will go into this shade here and there is a lot of pick up with these brushes as well This brush is really, really soft. It's really nice to use. And it's working just the same as that Rafa number 14 that I showed you. These shadows do blend beautifully though, so that always helps. But this brush seems to work really, really nicely. And there's quite a few people who won't buy the natural hair brushes and are only looking for synthetic type ones or possibly um, only vegan brushes. So these are really lovely. So if you're on the lookout 
for some synthetic brushes or vegan ones these are so far they work really really well so using that same shade and I'm going to use the refer number three brush I'm going to put some of this on my lower lash line I will go in over this as well with the black but if you didn't want to use black or thought it was too harsh then this color is really lovely and defines the area as well so I'm just deciding which color I'm going to put all over my lid I think I'm going to take the Sonia G the blender pro and use this because it's a bit fluffier and hopefully won't place on too much product because these shades are fairly pigmented but I'm first going to go in with this color here and see how that looks and then I want to lighten up in here and this is since this is an all matte palette and there's no shimmers but I think what I'll do is take a Sonia G brush and I'm going to go into this shade here and go over the color that I've just put on a bit and just see if I can lighten it up and I'm just having a look which this is the Builder Pro brush and just put a wash of color over the top and just see if I can get you see these are so beautifully pigmented that it does, it lightens up just where I've put on that quite dark shadow. These are really, really lovely. Then I'm going to take the Sonia G, the Worker 3 brush. And I don't know whether I'm actually going to use the black shade. I'm going to try this one here first and just see if this, I just want a have a little bit more depth on the outer corner here and just above without having to use the black. I'm pretty sure the first time I used this eyeshadow palette I did use the black and it, it does blend beautifully but for today's look I sort of want to keep away from the black if I can. Well that shades certainly deep enough I don't need to go near the black eyeshadow so I'm going to use that same dark color for under my eyes I'll just go over that other shade with the Refin number three brush and then with the Chukahodo the blender brush I just want to go over that darker color just a bit just to blow it out slightly and I'm going to take the Sonia G this is from the Lotus set this is the soft definer brush out of the Lotus set this is the brush I probably use the most and this is just good just for softening the edges of the shadow especially under the eyes and just using it to bring it out of the corner as well just so it blends in a bit more and then finally I just want to add some definition to my upper lash line so I'm going to use my hourglass number 10 brush go back into this shade here and this should be dark enough to be able to give a bit of definition so I've put on my mascara I did pull out an eyeliner that I was going to use today but I decided not to use it I just wanted I think the shadow that I used really gave enough depth without being too harsh looking and I really just wanted to keep this eye look more soft. So now we'll do the blush. And this is the K.O. Weiss. It's the Cheek Collective. And this is the shade Story Sun Torched. There are three of these Cheek Collectives available. And they're still available on Beautylish. I just checked. And I also saw Beautylish have got her new mascara out. So when I finish doing this video, I'm going to go and order that mascara. I've heard really great things about it. And I've also bought now about three K.O. Weiss lipsticks. 
and everything that I've bought so far, these blushes and the lipsticks, I really, really love. And her packaging is really beautiful as well. So I'll just show you quickly. I have used this palette and it is gorgeous. So I'll just quickly show you the color story of it. And to put them on, I'm going to use the Sonia G. This is from her new Fusion uh, collection set of brushes. And I keep mentioning it in every video. But I use these brushes every single day. So if you use a lot of cream products or liquid products, I highly recommend an investment in this set. It is just so, so good. At putting on these type of products so I'm going to use all three shades I'm going to start off with the darker shade first this one here and just dab the brush in and pop some on I love this formula it is just beautiful I'm hoping when because it's spring now and in the summertime that these will still be okay with my oily skin i hope that they are i just love the formula i love it because they almost sort of just melt into the skin and they just blend effortlessly just love them so next i'll go over this shade with the middle one and all together, when you put these on, they just give the most beautiful look. And when you think that it may be starting to go a bit bright, then you can go in with the last colour. And that really gives it that really beautiful look. I mean, you can use them individually if you wanted to. I just happen to use all three when I use them. And it always turns out really, really pretty. So I'll just go into this last shade here and then go over the top. And even though you're layering, they don't, the formula stays just as good. Even layering it three times like I am. It's just such a really beautiful formula. And finally is lipstick. And as I said at the beginning of this video, this is one of the new Wayne Goss lipsticks. And this is in the color Cashew. I have worn this a couple of times. It is a really beautiful neutral shade. I, I just really, really love it. And I love the Wayne Goss lipstick formula anyway. But this shade is just beautiful. I'll swatch it on the back of my hand so you can take a look. Just such a gorgeous colour and especially beautiful when you're going for a neutral type of makeup look. And the lipstick case is just the same as the other lipsticks he bought out. They have a click closure, which I really like. It reminds me of a really old-fashioned type of lipstick. And I just really like that click closure. So I'm going to put some setting powder on. I've got the Guerlain Meteorites in front of me. And also the Chantecai Blurring Powder as well. I think I'll go with... The Chantecai Blurring Powder today. I'm just grabbing the Sonia G Face One Brush. Just give that a swirl in the powder and just sweep that all over my face. So here is the final look. The foundation's holding up really well. In between putting my eyeshadow on, I actually had about an hour break. Um, my husband came up from the office so I had some morning tea type of brunch with him so I have been wearing this foundation for at least a couple of hours now and it's actually quite warm in this room today and the foundation is holding up quite well I think it looks really lovely it feels really lovely on the skin too but like I said I'm not quite sure how this would go in the middle of summer but I will I've got a lot of foundations and there are a few that I've loved during the 
autumn and winter and I'm going to try them out as well especially in the middle of summer to see how they are with my oily skin. The eyeshadow the makeup by Mario. I'm really pleased that I got a palette of just all mattes and no shimmers in them. I think this is a really great palette in the fact that if someone doesn't want shimmers, they don't want to use them, but they want some really good matte shades, this is a really great palette. I love the look that I've made today. I do like my neutrals, there's no doubt about it. I use pops of colour every now and then, and I don't mind experimenting with them, but this type of look is just really, really gorgeous. I love it that the light shade in this palette worked really well in the inner part of my eyelid here and just lightened it up. Not quite as much as a shimmer would, but it has still lightened it up. And the thing with mattes as well, especially with mature skin, some shimmers, not all, they can emphasize texture that you have on your eyelids. So if someone's really concerned about that and they'd rather stick with matte shades, I would recommend this formula. I think it works really well. It's really, really easy to blend. The KOYS blush is beautiful. I rave about them, but that's because I just love them so much. And they don't blur <laughs> texture on your skin. And the thing is, we have texture on our skin and there's nothing wrong with that. Some of us have a little bit more than others and some people don't want to emphasize that. Well, these cream blushes certainly don't emphasize texture. They don't know whether they, they give any sort of blurring, but they have a type of softening effect and just give this overall really soft look to the skin. I just think they are a stunning formula and the lipstick is beautiful too I love this shade and I love the Wayne Goss formulas anyway and I nearly forgot about the bronzer but I think the bronzer is beautiful I think the formula is absolutely gorgeous it blends so so well and also using this synthetic brush I normally use like I said either the Rafa 22 or the Tom Ford brush but this blended out the bronzer really, really beautifully as well. And if you haven't already, go and check out my video. It's on my 500 subscriber giveaway, and I'll put a link up to that above so you can check it out. But that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.